Trim is the difference between the vessel's forward and aft drafts, measured at the respective perpendiculars. This difference indicates how much the ship is tilted forward, or aft. A ship's draft, also spelled, draft, is the vertical distance between the lowest point of the ship's hull, typically the keel, and the waterline. A ship's draft is determined by observing the draft marks, a numerical marking, normally positioned at the forward, middle, and aft sections of the ship's hull. Located on both sides of the vessel, on the starboard, or right side, and on the port, or left side. Each mark denotes the distance from the bottom of the keel to the waterline. If the aft draft is greater than the forward draft, the ship is trimmed by the stern. In this example, the aft draft is 5.32 meters, and the forward draft is 4.10 meters. The trim is 1.22 meters by the stern. As we observe, the ship's aft section appears more submerged than the forward section, indicating the vessel is trimmed by the stern. Now if the forward draft is greater than the aft draft, the ship is trimmed by the head, or trimmed by the bow. If the forward and aft drafts are the same, it means zero trim, the vessel is said to be even keel. The term change of trim, or trim caused, refers to the variation in a vessel's longitudinal inclination due to change in weight distribution. It can be determined by adding or subtracting the vessel's initial and final trim. Here are several factors that cause the change in the ship's trim. Shifting of weight or cargo. Moving cargo within the ship alters weight distribution, affecting the ship's trim. Next, fuel consumption. As fuel is used, the ship's weight distribution changes, impacting the ship's trim. And ballasting or deballasting. Adding or removing ballast water changes the vessel's trim. Let's consider this scenario. Calculate the change of trim if the ship's initial draft forward is 5.20 meters and the initial draft aft is 4.50 meters. The ship's initial trim is 0 0.70 meter, just subtract the lesser from the greater. Since the forward draft is greater than the aft draft, the ship's initial trim is by the head. After shifting the cargo aft, the final draft forward is 4.80 meters, and the final draft aft is 5.0 meters. The ship's final trim is 0 0.20 meter by the stern. Calculating the change of trim, whether to add or subtract the initial and final trim, depends on their directions. If the trims have the same direction, if both the initial and final trims are in the same direction, either both by the stern or both by the head, calculate the change of trim by taking the difference between the initial and final trim, just subtract the lesser from the greater. If the trims have opposite direction, if both the initial and final trims are in different direction, one by the stern and the other by the head, calculate the change of trim by adding the initial and final trim. In short, add if the initial and final trim are in opposite directions. If they are in the same direction, subtract. In this case, the initial and final trim are in opposite direction, we will add them to find the change of trim, which is 0 0.90 meter. It is by the stern because the ship is initially trimmed by the head and completed her trimmed by the stern. Let's have another scenario. The initial draft forward is 5.20 meters and the initial draft aft is 6.10 meters. The initial trim is 0 0.90 meter by the stern. After the shifting of weight forward, the draft forward becomes 5.50 meters, and the aft draft is 5.80 meters. The final trim is 0.30 meters by the stern. 
Since both the initial and final trims have the same direction, we calculate the change of trim by taking the difference. The change of trim is 0 0.60 meter by the head. This change is considered by the head because the forward draft increased, indicating that the vessel's bow has moved deeper in the water, and the aft trim has reduced by 0 0.60 meter. Now, what will happen to the ship's longitudinal center of gravity when a weight is shifted longitudinally? Assuming the ship is floating in an even keel, the ship's longitudinal center of gravity is here, and directly below, in the same vertical line with G, is the longitudinal center of buoyancy. When a weight is shifted aft, G will also move aft, to G1, parallel to and in the same direction of the weight being shifted. As the longitudinal center of gravity and buoyancy got separated, a trimming lever was created, causing the ship to trim by the stern. The ship will be trimmed until the longitudinal center of buoyancy is directly below and in the same vertical line with the new longitudinal center of gravity. The point of intersection between the verticals through the longitudinal positions of center of buoyancy is called longitudinal metacenter. The vertical distance between the longitudinal center of gravity and the longitudinal metacenter is called longitudinal metacentric height. When a weight is shifted through a distance, the ship's G is shifted to G1, and a trimming moment is produced. Trimming moment refers to the moment that causes a vessel to change its trim, and arises when there's a shift in the vessel's weight distribution, such as moving cargo. To determine the trimming moment, it is equal to, way, times, distance. Where small letter W is the weight being shifted, and small letter d is the distance from initial to final position, measured from the initial position of the weight center of gravity, to the final position of the weight center of gravity. To calculate the distance between g to g1, gg1 is equal to weight times distance divided by the ship's displacement. Now, the term moment to change trim by 1 cm, mctc, is the trimming moment required to change the ship's trim by 1 cm, and can be calculated by using this formula. Where capital letter W is the ship's displacement, GML is the longitudinal metacentric height, LBP is the ship's length between perpendiculars, and 100 is the constant value. However, in practice, the MCTC value can always be found on the ship's hydrostatic tables, provided by the ship's builder. Now we can determine the change of trim using the formula, trimming moment, divided by, MCTC. Let's consider our previous scenario to calculate the change of trim. Assuming a weight of 180 tons is shifted aft, at a distance of 40 meters. Her present mean draft is 10.09 meters. Determine her final draft if her initial trim is 0.50 meter by the stern. Since trimming moment is equal to weight times distance, and the weight being shifted is 180 tons, at a distance 40 meters, the trimming moment is 7,200 ton meters. If the ship's mean draft is 10.09 meters, the moment to change trim by 1 centimeter is 247 ton meters. The change of trim is 29.150 centimeters, or 0 0.291 meter, by the stern, since we have shifted aft. Apply the change of trim to the initial trim, to determine the final trim. Since we transfer a weight from forward to aft, the final draft aft increases, resulting to an increase in the final trim by the stern, so both will be added. The final trim is 0 0.791 meter by the stern. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.